In this video, we're gonna stay at the Park MGM and show you what's new here in 2023. Do a little hotel room tour next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today, we are returning to one of my favorite mid-level, almost budget type hotel. It's the Park MGM, formerly the Monte Carlo. Now, if you guys remember, when I first started coming back to Vegas and actually doing Las Vegas hotel room tours, this was my very first hotel that I did on the strip back in 2021. But today, I'm here with my cousin EJ. We're gonna go check out a few places to eat, see what's new at Italy, go check out the fitness center, and even check check out one of the rooms to show you how it is here in 2023 staying at Park MGM so let's go grab some food to start over at the Crack Shack so I'm loving this the Crack Shack is from San Diego and they do term it Southern California fried chicken now we've eaten here with Dan versus world before but not on my channel so we're gonna go in here and introduce it to my cousin EJ there you go guys a little QR code check it out they also have a nice little patio here where you can eat you got to order up at the counter and then they'll bring you your food so Crack Shack offers an array of sandwiches, different chicken sandwiches. They have bone-in chicken, special fries, chicken oysters, some poutine, but there's a torta-like sandwich I want to try out. Dude, they have a ube brownie shake and a Don Pastor. Game over. Let's go. So you can get your own sodas, iced teas, lemonades, but they also have a bar here. Wow, they have a nice array of drinks, beers, seltzers, everything else. Ooh, and the Padres are playing 4-1. Ube brownie shake, baby. The sauce is ranch. Sweet baby G's barbecue Baja hot sauce and sriracha Thousand Island yes please let's go so it's simple once you order they'll give you this and then you just go to pick up here once it's ready and we're gonna enjoy the Padre game while we're here yeah 122 right over here yeah. thank you thank you All right, guys, so we went with the chef special, and it's called the Don Papa, I believe. Look at this. Chicken, cilantro, and a bunch of different sauces. I'm gonna try out the sriracha. They also give you a lime to squirt on it. We got some ranch, too. Let's lime it up. Juicy, sweet, savory. Mm. Onion, cilantro is really good. Mm. Nice light bread too. Thumbs up, 13 bucks. Wow, you guys know I love ube. And they have a special ube shake here. They have a boba straw. They got purple sprinkles. They put cookie crumbles up top. That's tasty. Good thing I went to the gym this morning. <laughs> this definitely canceled it out, but... Poor la vlog. <laughs> I'm gonna steal a couple of uh, EJ's french fries. Mm. Let's ask my cousin what he thinks of his meal. I got the Coupe de Ville. It's a fried chicken with Fresno chilies and some coleslaw. The fries are phenomenal. The sauces are really good. 10 out of 10 for sure. Great sandwich. Check it out. Shout out San Diego, man. Love you guys out there. There's also pineapple in this. So good. And with the ranch, money. Mm. I love the bar and all the chicken murals. Then you have an upside down chicken here. And my Padres playing. The Don Pastor was amazing. The chicken with the pineapple and cilantro and then you put the lime on there. Amazing sauce. That boob is great. I love it. San Diego Padre game going on. Now let's go inside of the Park MGM, check out a few things, maybe do a few workouts and hit the pool and then do a room review. This right here is best friend. You got the Mama Rabbit bar and the entrance to On The Record is just down the way. And right next to On The Record is the sports book and then the Juniper bar where you can get some really great gin and tonic. And this right here is On The Record. What I really like about it is that you could be casual, wear hats, wear shorts if you need to. Just no flip flops or tank tops, I believe. This is the side Betty grill. I remember I came in here a little tipsy one night, got myself a burger and ate that back at my hotel room. Y'all already know. We got Jamie Foxx promoting at MGM, just like my girl Vanessa Hudgens does. Right over this way is the sports book, but they also have a sports bar over there and you can watch tons of games that are playing right now. All right, EJ, Yo. So I'm gonna take you to a really fun place. Don't tell me, I'd rather be surprised. It's not inside Park MGM, 
but it's across and you can look at it. Okay. It's one of the nicer views in Vegas, so let's go. All right, bro, my bad, dude. We weren't able to go to the brew dog, but we're here at Hard Rock. Don't worry about it. You still get the nice views, but you're in the air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Feels what? good in here. And the views are awesome, good uh, atmosphere. A lot of uh, historic rock and roll you outfits, guitars, a bunch of cool stuff from uh, rock and roll history, so pretty and cool just to be in here. And messy gear. And messy gear, this guy's favorite. Let's go. Let's go. Not gonna lie, I was trying to take EJ to brew dog, but it's only about 12.30 in the afternoon. So we ended up here at Hard Rock. And uh, I'm very disappointed. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm very happy with this. We got a good view. Drinks are really good, so. I got a pina colada. What did you get? I got a tropical margarita, but uh, and it's really tasty, so really good drinks here. Yeah, and you're overlooking Park MGM, and you're in the air conditioning. Yeah, we were gonna go to the brew dog rooftop, but it's almost 100 degrees, and they don't open till three from Monday to Thursday, so. Oh, well, you've seen them in the past already, so. Yeah. I've never actually drank or eaten at this Hard Rock. I've only gone to the store, and Messi lured us in. Yeah, this guy already caught the bucket hat. We got a messy bucket hat. We'll see it in future videos, so. Uh, only fitting we get a drink here, too. Cheers, Brody. Cheers, Brody. Pina colada, baby, let's Last go. Last full day in Vegas. All right, guys, so. We got the pizza Aoki. Had to take EJ here. Proper Eats is literally just right across the way from Park MGM. Bam, what you get, bro? Show them. It's called the Hero Quest. I think it's a ground sausage with pepperoni, and it looks really good, to be honest. I went with the white pie. It looks like you got blue cheese, ricotta cheese, a little bit of Cheers, greens. Bro. Cheers, Brody. Let's <laughs> go. Hot, mommy. Hmm. I gotta dress my slice first. Ooh, you gonna hurt. This is a hot one. Spicy? Not really. Not at all, actually. Just the right amount. Okay. But nice. uh, the slice is amazing. The pepperoni and the sausage taste great. Nice lunch. Let's go. I also really like the entryways to the rooms here. It's a little dim, but then when you get out the elevator, you get a picture of a couple walking around the lake at a park. I like the lobby here. It's like an upside down tree root branch. And this is their physical front desk, but you can also get physical cards here because I don't trust the digital key all the time. Easy to do, just gotta find the QR code. And then over here is their shop. And a little tip is if you're here for a Vegas residency, sometimes they don't have all the merch of the residency that's here. But when Bruno is here, they have Bruno. But right now it's Maroon 5, so they got all this Maroon 5 gear and their drink, Cali Rosa. And Bruno also has a rum, Selvare, and they sell it here too. When they have the residencies too, they have little uh, activations here. This is the Maroon 5 telephone right here play audio. What's up, Adam Levine? And then they have like <laughs> names of their songs in here. They've also had Usher, Bruno Mars, Lady Gaga, and all these other Jonas Brothers. So uh, yeah, if you're here to see your Vegas residency, come over here to this part of the hallway and you'll see an activation to take a picture at. And like I said, MGM smoke free. This is the Dolby Live and the House of Gaga is right here. And you see all the Lady Gaga's like concert and music video dresses. But this is the entrance to where you can see Silk Sonic, Bruno Mars, Jonas Brothers, Maroon 5, Usher, etc. Shout out to Latrice. He loves Lala Noodle, him and Mrs. Truth. They eat that, they eat this place. And if you guys haven't seen my videos on Italy, make sure you check it out. My first ever collab with Miss Mommy G was over at La Pizza y La Pasta. But this place has amazing food. It's just super, super pricey. A pizza is 22 bucks. That's a whole pizza in LA, man. <laughs> Continuing on with the fitness in 2023, me and EJ over here are gonna hit the fitness center here. I haven't featured it yet because I just recently started going back to the fitness center. So let's go see what they have to offer down on the second floor. And then we'll also see the pool after. So second floor, you got the spa and salon and the nomad pool. Here's the fitness center, spa. And since this is a busier hotel, there's gonna be more people in here, but we'll still show you a few things. Water, towels. Oh, they do have uh, weight stations here. And wow, about six or seven treadmills and ellipticals. There's a separate room for medicine balls. They even got free weights here.
cool. They even have a room. It's like a yoga room over here with medicine balls, bouncy balls, and mats. They also have yoga series here. Classes every day from 10 to 11. Oh, and they charge 30 bucks per person. So this is their yoga room. You got some medicine balls, some ab balls, your pads, yoga pads, all that good stuff, and a big TV. You gotta work out here. All right, so that's enough for a workout here. Got about a good 45 minutes in. They have like eight treadmills. They have this nice yoga room, a few free rates, no kettlebells, and a ton of machines. And they got water and towels, so that's all good. Now let's go check out the pool. So we're headed to the pool entrance, and here they have a couple stores. Six Space, Night Up, which is a VGK store, The Champs, and a corner store which has women's gear. Oh, also men's gear. But here's the pool, you just need your key to get in. All right, Cuzzy. Yes, sir. We out here. We out at the pool, man. Time to relax a little bit. So this is the East Pool right next to the Aria Express and they have cabanas here and then a bar on the other end. Tons of seats and shade in the morning. And then this is the pathway. There's another pool on the other side and then a pool down the way here. We'll go to that later. So this is the East Pool Bar. Nice long East Pool. And then if you walk over this way, you get to another pool. Also, it's already 11 o'clock and it's like 94 degrees. Not quite 100 yet, but we're getting there. And then this is the other pool. A little longer of a pool. One little thing about laying out here and getting a beach chair. They have a QR code here that you can scan and order drinks and food. And then they got the bar here with your daiquiris and your cocktails and beers and seltzers. And you can also get buckets of beers too. I also like how they have the misters over here. You can cool off a little bit and these tables with benches. All right, Jake Asianers, if you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to Jake Asian. We're almost to 100,000 subscribers. We're almost like 3,000 away. So we're getting there. Let's check out more of that Park MGM pool. Very chill pool. I'm feeling it. And then closer to Primrose, they have like a square pool and a little spa. Pretty nice. There's your Park MGM view right there. Also, a nice little touch to these day beds. You could rent these out and you also got safes on the corner. So you don't have to worry about your wallet and your phone while you're in the pool. So they also have your complimentary water station right here. They even have sparkling, normal, and cold. We're gonna get some cold water up in here. Also, you can get lockers here, pay for them, and then you can charge your phones. And Primrose is right around the way. This is a great brunch place. Kinda hungry, but I don't think we're gonna eat here. It looks like they have this thing called Wind Down Fridays, relaxation on the East Pool from one to five, and they have sponsors, beer sponsors, Kona, Bud Light, Golden Road, and Michelob. So last night, me and EJ and some friends grabbed some Earl's sandwich over at Planet Hollywood. This looks a little mushy, but it's still nice and good to go. Instead of getting a sandwich, I got the tuna wrap, which is a little spicy because the pepperoncinis actually are a little fuego. They got olives in it. That's the only thing I don't like about it, but let's try it out. This is actually over at Planet Hollywood, but hey, that's what you got to do when you're hungry late night, and I couldn't handle everything. Oh, it's a little soggy of a wrap now, but you got your lettuce, your tomatoes, olives, cheese, and some tuna. Mmm, that's good. Especially with that Tabasco sauce on that bag swag. Mmm, yeah, we got a little workout and got a little 45. Mmm, too many olives though. All right, JK Shitters, it is hotel room review time. So we just got the two queen beds here and we actually got lucky. I checked in the night before and actually by 10 o'clock, I already had the floor and the room in the digital key. We're on the fifth floor overlooking the pool and the Aria and they are amazing. I love Park M Gym. They have cool frames over here, pretty girl, and a gas station. And they got four pillows and the bed was comfortable. Me and cousin EJ were knocked out. Four pillows and they're all fluffy and it's the air conditioning is nice and perfect here. And you also got the bed stand with two lamps for each bed and the telephone. And yes, we got late checkout at 12 o'clock complimentary. So shout out to that. And they also have Park MGM stationery as well. And then a big square cubby hole down that middle. And then over here is a nice long ivy and green couch. EJ, what you think, bro? This is very soft. I love it very much. The pillows were very soft as well as the blanket. And this couch is not a sofa bed, but it's long enough to have a third person maybe sleep here. Definitely, and it's 
comfortable enough. And then you got this wooden table, a little older school with olive colored leather chair, which is nice. The TV is cool. And then down below it, they give you a little ledge with expensive Fiji waters and nuts and M&Ms. Don't touch that. They also give you a nice array of outlets and USB ports here so you can charge your stuff. And the lights, when you first come in here, you're like, dude, this place is dim. But then you open the vanity mirror on the floor to ceiling mirror. That lights up the whole room. This helps with the dining table here. And then those lights are pretty bright too. And then you get the natural sun here. Looking out at the swimming pool, awesome view. And then you got the Aria Express. Make sure you make use of that. It's open till like 3 or 4 a.m. And I'll get you all the way to Bellagio and the middle of the strip. But uh, don't forget to tell them about that. One of them is stops operating at a certain time. Yeah, so, so sometimes <laughs> these things are both fully operational because there's two of them or there's just one. So. Just make sure you're aware of which side to go. Over here you get Las Vegas Magazine. Like I said, the outlets, there's an ethernet port. The only thing is I wish they had like a bigger desk over here under the TV because over at Nobu they had like a big desk to do our work off of. TV's nice and then it connects to the other door. So this is a smoke-free casino and also there are dogs that are allowed and there's like a little dog over there <laughs> groaning and I think they were left alone. <laughs> So let's move over to the closet area. <laughs> All right guys, in the closet area, you only get like five wooden hangers. The safe is in here. Unfortunately, the safe was locked so we couldn't use it. They do give you your ironing board and your luggage rack and four different drawers that you can pull in and out. They also have a QR code that you can scan that will help you with getting linens and robes in here. And then the iron is up top as well with a big shelf. All right guys, now time for the bathroom. We got a nice little shelf here to put all your stuff Stuff on. They give us a huge amount of towels. Uh, it comes with also all the amenities like the shampoo, body gel, and conditioner. It's a walk-in shower, which is also pretty awesome. The, the water pressure is amazing. And you got two little hangers here for your, your towels or your clothes or anything you want to hang up there. Unfortunately, there's no robes, but I'm not trying to be bougie or anything. We don't need those, but overall a great bathroom. The sink is nice. You got a nice little uh, mirror here to be up close and you know get a close shave or if you want to do makeup or anything like that. Put some art in here. The, the lighting is also great. So you also get a Central Park vibe slash uh, Paris Park vibe here and there's like three girls holding hands running down the lawn of Central Park It looks like as your art and then the throne is nice and low uh, no, it's not low, but it's like a medium height and you have more park pictures and that reminds me more of Paris Then you get your tissue and then you get your trash over here and you can also dim the lights if you want. Oh, yeah Yo. She got me love stone and I don't care got a little party going on <laughs> here. Over here you have two leather hooks then you also got the double locks on the doors as well so thumbs up to that so overall our one night stay here at park mgm was awesome and maroon 5 has a residency downstairs as well we got to try out crack shack you loved that didn't you that was amazing shout out san diego for bringing it over here and the pool was awesome also and chill. nice you can fill up your waters over there which is really cool and uh yeah park mgm is always a great lower to mid-range budget hotel i spent i believe it was 120 total for the night stay so that's really not bad i think the rate was about 80 and then you pay the rest for the resort fee and taxes so about a buck 20 total i'll link that right here on the screen yeah park mgm is always going to be one of my top favorite hotels to stay in yeah it's great and also you know if you get kind of tired of all the things to do down here there's a nice club called off the record but uh and the, and the restaurants are also awesome but uh, if you want to I mean, there's a tram that takes us to all the other hotels that are close by so very easy accessible hotels to get to and that club is very casual you, they said you could wear shorts even a hat there and it's free for guests you got to get there before one o'clock so make sure you check it out it's right downstairs next to roy Choi's best friend which i covered in one of my previous videos we got to check out the nomad eventually right i gotta dole out some money and check out the nomad yeah. show you guys the library so we'll do that at some point also comment down below other hotels you want to see me do we're doing more luxury stuff so we're headed to the win so uh oh yeah see EJ, you guys over there. ej will be with me check out his podcast sneaks and stats we'll link that down below yeah come follow us guys we're also on ig twitter and tiktok give us a follow on uh, all those all those uh, platforms he talks sports shoes and just some fun stuff so make sure you check it out him and his friend julian that's right 
Shout out Julian. All right, JK Shooters, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're almost to 100,000 subscribers, and it was really nice to make kind of a full circle video to where I did my first ever hotel room tour in Las Vegas here at Park MGM about three years ago. So I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Check out Las Vegas 777 Let's Go. It's got 3,000 lovers of Vegas talking about news and ongoings around town. And we'll see you in the next one. In the words of me, stay traveling, Las Vegas. Dun 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 Let's go! You can't see me. <laughs>